Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Finally got it right. Yeah. This video is one that I probably should have done months ago. Like a long time ago, months ago. I have one specific animal who I've had for a long time now. He has appeared in a couple different videos, but I've never really introduced him to you and I want to. Now, every single time I get a new animal, I don't always do an introduction video, but for him, this specific animal, I really wanted to do one, but for some reason, I just never did and now it's like six months later and I'm finally getting around to doing it. Productive, I know. I mean, they always say it's better late than never, right? So the reason I really wanted to do this video is because this specific animal is one that I wanted for a long time and it was a rescue situation and I want to tell his little rescue story and just, just talk about him a bit. So that is what we're going to do. So in my video today, the animal I'm going to be introducing you guys to is my Pueblin milk snake named Rocky. Like I said, he's not actually a new animal. I've had him for months now, and he has made some appearance appearances. <laughs> he has made some appearances in some of my other videos, such as my feeding all my pets video. So he's not entirely new to my channel, but this is like my first formal introduction. Now that I've said that, let's go ahead and take a look at him. So sorry about the horrible light in here, but here is my milk snake. You can see him all along the back here kind of stretched out. He is a Pueblin milk snake and also sorry about this dying plant here. I'm really bad at keeping plants alive, but we all know that by now. Anyways, that's him. That's my milk snake. So now you may notice that I don't really handle him. I don't really take him out. Or anything like that and that basically has to do with the situation that I got him from as I said he was a rescue so now I'll get into that story in a quick second I'll just say he was never handled before like ever he had never been out of his enclosure and so he is just not used to people at all not used to handling so he gets very very stressed out when he's touched definitely prefers to just be left alone in his enclosure to do his own thing as i said he was never handled before he is not used to it at all it is very stressful to him so because of that i typically just let him be i don't like to handle him a lot because i know it is very stressful on him so now let's talk a little bit about his story, if you would call it that, his rescue situation, how I got him, and all that stuff. So essentially, I wanted a milk snake. Obviously, you guys know I like snakes, I have a lot of snakes, and I wanted a milk snake. So I had been researching them and everything, and then when I finally felt I was ready to get one, I started looking. So now, I've mentioned before that where I live, there's not a huge, like, reptile supply here. Like, reptiles aren't very common here. We don't have a lot of pet stores. We typically just have PetSmart, and then we have, like, one exotic store in the whole province. So it's kind of hard to find a lot of reptiles a lot of the time. But I was looking around trying to find a milk snake and I couldn't find one anywhere local. So I looked into some other places that were selling them that could like ship and whatnot. But at the same time, I was also checking Kijiji, which is um, essentially the Canadian version of Craigslist. It's just like a buy and sell page. So I was always checking there in the reptile section to see if just someone would happen to post a milk snake because that is the snake I really wanted, that is the snake I had been researching, and yeah. Now when it comes to milk snakes, there are different kinds, such as Honduran milk snakes, Pueblin milk snakes, Nelson's milk snakes, there's a lot of them. I didn't really care which kind I got, I just wanted one. And one day I just got lucky and someone had happened to post an ad for them. They had two milk snakes for sale. Um, they were a couple years old each. I believe they're around four years old each, so they are adults, but they were selling them and I contacted the person and that's what happened. 
So now in the ad that the person posted, they included some photos of the snakes and their setups, and you could tell that the setups were not very good. They were being kept in 36 by 18 by 18 exoterras, which is a fun size that's equal to like, I believe a 40 gallon breeder, maybe a little bigger. So they were, the size tank was just fine for them. It had more than enough room, but the conditions that they were in were not ideal. They had no heat source. Each one just had a single hide. Um, usually you would want multiple hides. They had no hides, or one hide, they had one hide. And they were being kept on pine shavings. And if you know anything about most animals, you would know that pine is bad for most animals because it does have a toxin in them. And yeah, it's just, not good. If you're using a wood substrate, you definitely want to go aspen over pine. And so they were being kept on a pine substrate and they really had no substrate. Like there were a lot of spots in the tank where just the bare glass was showing. I wish that I like still had these pictures, but I don't think I do. But yeah, so the tanks were just like empty. They had almost no bedding. It was just like half the tank was like bare glass. There was no heat lamp, no heat mat, one single hide. And I don't even remember there being a water dish. I mean, I feel like there must have been, but I don't remember there being a water dish. So anyways, those were like the conditions he came from. But essentially just a bare empty tank, no heating, no like decorations, no hides. There was just one tiny hide. I don't even think the snake could fit its entire body in it. Um, yeah, it was just not very ideal. It was definitely horrible conditions for a snake. So I talked to the person and they agreed to let me come and take the snake. And of course I had an appropriate setup for the snake. I have a 40 gallon breeder. Um, I have aspen substrate and I have a couple hides and some decorations and plants so that the snake has lots of places to hide. I obviously have a heat lamp as well so the snake has a warm side and a cool side. So obviously the snake is in much better living conditions than it was. I will go ahead and give you guys like a full enclosure tour um, quickly so then you can see what his enclosure looks like now versus like what he was in before. Again, I know I, you guys can't see it, but just imagine an empty tank with like barely any bedding and one hide. That was what he was in before and this is what he's in now. So this here is my milk snake's cage. It is a 40 gallon breeder. Over here is the warm side of the tank and then over here is the cold side of the tank. Obviously the heat lamp is on the warm side. So over on his warm side, he has a hide, some fake plants all around. There's some driftwood back there, a rock. And then I have this little tunnel here, which is kind of in the middle of the tank. So it's like neither on the warm or cool side. And then over here on the cool side, he has this water dish, some rocks and some plants again. You can see he also likes to burrow some. You can see that there's like some tunnels. In. So obviously this snake is in much better living conditions now since I have him. He is in a nice big tank with lots of decorations and lots of hides and appropriate heat, appropriate temperatures, appropriate humidity. He has shed a couple times since I've had him. His sheds have been perfect. He eats great every single time. So it is very good. The only downside to him is the fact that he can't be handled. I know I talked about this earlier in the video, but he just essentially can't be handled. He's definitely just like a look only pet. Like I said, the previous owner never, never, never handled him. And I believe he's like four years old. So he went four years of his life without ever having like human interaction. So it is just not something he's used to. So it stresses him out a lot. So I just let him do his thing. He is like so scared of people that he won't even eat from tongs like he's just so scared of anything coming close to him which is weird it's I don't know it's just it's crazy how scared he is when I first got him and I was first trying to feed him the first few times I would take my tongs with the mouse and I would obviously hold the mouse in front of him and it would terrify him he would go and hide he would burrow under the substrate he would just freak out 
at like a human being in his presence and like my hand being in his tank. So after that, I just started taking the mouse and leaving it in his tank for him. I would like put it on top of a rock and he would not come out of hiding to eat it if I was in the room. So I always would have to take the mouse, put it on a rock, leave the room, and then he will eat it. So he still eats every single time. Every time I put a mouse in there, as soon as I leave the room, he is out to eat it. So there's no problem with that. He's very scared of people. But honestly, to me, that is not a huge issue. I don't mind having animals that are like observe only. I think that it is still fun to just look at them and learn about them and own them and, you know, take care of them, even if I can't hold them. I mean, look at Mark, for example. Mark is one of, like, everyone's favorite animals on my entire channel, and I can't hold him. I mean, I have held him, like, twice in my life before, but day geckos just don't like being held. They will jump off your hand and run across your house. So you can't really hold day geckos, but Mark is still one of my, like, Mark is still awesome. Everyone loves Mark. I love Mark. But he's a look only animal. He's not a touch or hold or play. He's just, wow, look at me, I'm Mark. I don't know, that's not an issue to me. I don't mind having animals that I can only look at and not touch or anything. I don't mind it at all. So it's not an issue to me. I just wanted to go ahead and share his story I guess. Um, anyways guys, with all of that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed finally getting an introduction to my milk snake even though it's been like six months, you know. I hope you still enjoyed. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the bell button to turn on notifications so you know whenever I post. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. It will be in the description below, but it's all just MSAM99. My eyeball is itchy. Also check out my YouNow if you don't know what that is. YouNow is just a live streaming app. Um, and I live stream on there so check that out my username on that is Emma L Sampson that will also be in the description thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time